Oh, hello there. Today is my facelift video. I had a facelift on May 12th in Istanbul, and the doctor who did my facelift was Dr. Gunsel Ozturk. He's fabulous. I found him because he owns the clinic where I got my hair transplant four months before. I had gastric sleeve surgery a year ago, and basically by March or April, I had lost so much weight that I had all this loose skin on my face and my neck, and I was looking old, and I felt like I looked unhealthy. And it was such a weird juxtaposition to feel so good about my health and about, uh, you know, what, I, what the changes that were happening in my body. And then to look in the mirror and just really not like the way I looked. I, I thought about, you know, maybe I can just accept this, but it was really a deal breaker for me. Like I, I couldn't do it. And I had talked with Dr. Ozturk. Uh, and his team, and uh, I was able to put the money together to get it done. And it is honestly one of the best decisions I've ever made. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through uh, from the time I got to Istanbul, uh, got the surgery, and then the whole uh, healing process. So what I had was a lower facelift and neck lift. So they cut from here down to here around my ears, and then behind my ears, like that, on each side. And they pulled the skin back and removed all the excess skin. I know that maybe this sounds gruesome, but listen, facelifts are like lawyers. You think they're terrible until you need one. I'm here to tell you, facelifts are actually not that big of a deal. They're very common. People get them all the time. They just don't talk about it because there's so much stigma associated with it. Anytime we talk about plastic surgery uh, in social media or, you know, in culture, it's usually shaming, you know, celebrities who get bad work done or who get too much filler or, you know, where the, the work is like very obvious. You don't realize how many celebrities also get plastic surgery and you wouldn't know because it's done well. Most plastic surgery, if you're with the right doctor, it's done well. And you just look fresh and natural and just a little younger. So one thing about Dr. Ozturk is he always has really good people working for him. His staff is always really friendly, really nice. Everyone really enjoys working there. Um, they picked me up from the airport in Istanbul. I got driven to a hotel not too far from the hospital. I came to Istanbul really early in the morning. And then later that day, we went for an assessment and did photos. And he basically mapped out how the facelift would look, how much skin he had to take off. And the, the his clinic is above the Chanel in Istanbul. And it's like really fancy. And he ha he's an artist too. So he has all these sculptures and paintings that he did. I love Dr. Ozturk. He's like, a little bit quirky, uh, but I love people that are kind of offbeat. And he's such a gentle, sweet, nice man. I love plastic surgeons. Like, I honestly think they're doing God's work. Like, think about all the people who have something about them that they don't like, something that they wish they could change, and they'll suffer years and years of their lives feeling ashamed, feeling like they can't change something. And all they have to do is go to a plastic surgeon, and it's like one little thing that can be fixed. And then the rest of their life, they can be confident and feel good about themselves. Like, I think when plastic surgery is done well with people that are mentally sound and spiritually intact, I think it's like the most amazing thing ever. So I arrived in Istanbul on Monday. Tuesday morning was my surgery. I went to the hospital early in the morning. I was, uh, I was so excited. Let's go, let's do it. Let's be brave. Let's take what we want in this world. Let's fucking get this facelift, bitches. And the hospital room is really pretty. I had the whole room to myself with a nice view of the city. I ended up uh, going into the OR like by around, I think maybe noon or so. And I think the surgery took about four hours. Um, the staff was really nice. Everything was fine with the anesthesia. Um, I, I felt a lot of pressure. I also couldn't hear anything because uh, the bandages were, were so tightly wrapped around me. Um, and yeah, I just basically rested the rest of the night and slept. Um, the pain was not that bad. Um, like I felt, you know, pressure but I didn't really feel like it was a searing pain. Throughout the whole healing process, I never had any pain medicine stronger than paracetamol. 
Usually Dr. Ostrick's patients stay two nights, but I was feeling a little anxious uh, and so I wanted to leave the next day. Okay, so on the second day, they take the bandage off. And I have to tell you, I have to be really clear for anyone who's out there gonna and wants to get a facelift, just know you're swollen. It's just swelling. They cut off your face. You're gonna look scary, but it's all right. It's just swelling. And I know you can tell yourself a million times, but like when you are actually there in that moment, seeing yourself that way, it is one of the most terrifying things ever. So you will have that anxiety and that panic for probably the first day or two. The swelling uh, basically starts to really go down after about three days. Um, I was in this beautiful hotel room. I actually, by the third or fourth day, I was really enjoying it. Like it felt like one of these like, spa getaways. I would say by the fifth or sixth day, I was like really happy. I was like, oh my God, can I stay longer? I love my skinny neck. <laughs> it was imp It's important to like really rest the first few days and not walk around too much, not overexert your circulation because you want to really focus on healing. So it was so nice to just like watch TV in a big comfy bed. Like I really, really enjoyed myself. On the last day, I went shopping in Istanbul too, which was fabulous. And for a second, you feel self-conscious about the bandages, but it's Istanbul. Everyone's getting plastic surgery or hair transplants. You're like, it's not, it's nothing they haven't seen before. So basically I had plasters running along each side of the facelift incisions and you had to keep the bandages on for about three weeks. Uh, and then I also wore uh, the face bandage, uh, which was like removable. Uh, I wore that for six weeks. And then after six weeks, I would sleep with it for like another month or so. So I went back to Berlin and I had a facelift reveal party with all my friends, like a gender reveal party that like boring straight people do. I had a lot of fun with my facelift. Like I did a bunch of videos during that time too. You can go check them out on my Instagram or my TikTok. So basically after about six weeks, once I was able to stop wearing the bandage, um, I was sort of puffy. I was a little bit swollen. Also my ears were very swollen they literally cut right around your ears. Uh, but eventually the swelling goes down after like, I would say about three months. There was a lot of swelling here that stayed here for a little bit. But after about three months, you could really see the definition of my jawline and there, the tightness that would be there before eventually ends up fading. Oh, and also the day that I took um, the plasters off of my facelift, I was hanging out with Brian J. Smith, the actor. And he was like so jealous because normally he's the cutest guy everywhere he goes. But then all of a sudden there's me with my tight face lips. And it was like so clear that you were jelly, Brian. In terms of scarring, um, the scars on this side of my face like have healed very well. You can barely see them. The scars on the back um, of my neck are a little more visible. They look really red right now just because I had lasering done on them, but it's actually my fault because I uh, had my facelift done uh, in May and then throughout the summer, I, I, I basically, I would put sunscreen on them, but at the same time, there's only so much I can do. Uh, you have to be really careful about getting sunburnt or anything like that because it really it hurts like a bitch. But yeah, I am getting the neck lift uh, scars treated. Um, you can also get uh, silicone plasters on them, uh, which I have. There's also cortisone shots that you can get to uh, have the scars sink down and lasers. The, the laser helps um, like sort of uh, block the blood vessels from continuing to like uh, bring blood into the scar. So so they should be fine like in a couple months. In general, facelift scars do go away. And if you're a woman, no one would ever really see them. Like if you had a neck lift because your hair is, you know, going down your neck. But yeah, that's about it. Um, the follow-up care was great. They uh, checked in with me all the time. Uh, and I sent in photos and they'd let me know how things were going and when to take the bandages off. I only really needed to take paracetamol for, I would say about five days. And also I took bromelain, which is um, an anti-inflammatory made from pineapple. I also ate a lot of pineapple too, uh, which helps with the swelling. Um, but overall, I was just so surprised by how easy it was, how painless it was. 
uh, how good I looked and how much younger I looked and how effective it was. I honestly, I think facelifts are the best thing ever. Like, I love a facelift. Listen, life is short. Whatever you need to do to be comfortable and happy with yourself, do it, okay? No judgment from me. So you get out there, get that fucking face lifted if you want it. And Dr. Gunsel Ozturk, thank you so much. I love you. You did such a good job. Oh my God, facelift of the year award goes to...